Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our final fight of the evening at Senshi 20. What a journey it's been to get here, five years in the making, and we're going from strength to strength. The Senshi machine is not slowing down, and we're destined for bigger and better things. I'm joined for this final fight by K1 legend, Albert Kraus. What an evening it's been, Albert. Yeah, we've seen some good fights and some good knockouts. Yeah, quite a few knockouts here. Yeah. Which, that last one from um, the band Azran Gashi knocking out the Turkish Terminator. Yeah, was, wow. Uh, His head was... Um, it was a big one. <laughs> but here we go, final fight of the evening, another super heavyweight contest. Uh, Ahmed Kornic from Bosnia and Herzegovina, who looks like an absolute monster. He's taking on Romanian Florin Ivani. Nickname of Thor. I've never heard of a Ro Romanian Viking, but uh, so we've got uh, Kornic, 120 yeah. Yeah, something kilos. I believe he was 124. 124 kilos fighting Florin Ivani, who is was 110. 110, yeah, about. So they are the, really the big guys. Oh, huge oh, yeah. left yeah. hand there. From Kornic to the body. Lovely combinations. This is what we've yeah. said we want to yeah, see. Yeah. And that was great to see yeah. from someone his yeah. size as well. Yeah, very course, nimble. Yeah. Very, very clear shots. Nice combination. Yeah, very confident. Only 26 years of age, plenty of life left in his career. Both fighters actually 26. And it's great to see Kornic here, he's circling. He's not just going backwards and forwards. He's cutting off the ring. Yeah, but now he turns himself in the corner, not the middle of the ring. Well. <laughs> It could be a double, um, double bluff. Yeah, you see, you don't take the middle of the ring now. Ooh. Oh! So you've got to be careful. He's been athletic. He threw yeah. some big bombs. Nice combinations. Yeah. But at 124 kilos, you're going to gas out at some stage. Yeah, he's a good, really good fighter. Nice combinations. Strong, explosive, fast. I hope he has enough condition till the end. Exactly. But maybe it don't, don't take till the end. In a heavyweight fight, uh, can happen everything. Well, the Romanian's taking punishment, but if he's... Uh, if he's done his homework, he, he might have a game plan here to tire out uh, Kornic. Well, I wouldn't recommend taking shots from someone that size to try and wear them out. No, those, those are really bombs. So last 10 seconds here of round one. And look at Kornic there, bouncing on his toes, 124 kilos. He's fast, athletic, throwing some great combinations. Now I think I can do a prediction. Of, <laughs> <laughs> what, of this round? Yeah, no, I, okay. I want to do a prediction. So that's got to be 10-9 to the blue corner. Yeah, for sure. In my opinion, but I think now it's everyone's opinion. Yeah. Well, who knows? Yeah. We're so, you just never know in this game. No. Some judges have got... Um, some strange contact lenses, you know. But um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, there's no favoritism here at Senshi. And I've worked on some huge events around the world. I can tell you some stories, I'm sure you could as well. Yeah, for sure, yeah. But yeah. it's definitely 100% zero dodginess here at Senshi, judging, refereeing, or otherwise. So here we, here we go then, round two. Ahmed Kornic from Bosnia and Herzegovina, an athletic super heavyweight. 
fighting Romanian Florin Ivanoe. Now, Kornic has been here seven times previously and he's got a record inside the century ring of six wins and only one loss. But, uh, but the Romanian's making his century debut. And it can affect some fighters being in unfamiliar surroundings. And of course, Ahmed Kornic is going to be very comfortable stepping back into the century ring time and time again. A nice combination. Yeah, that was what we were saying earlier. Yeah. Finish off with that low kick. Oh, that was lovely. Yeah, Finished off with a kick yeah. to the body. Good combination. And it was on the right side where and the liver shot He's is. also light on his feet. He moves. Yeah. He goes from left to right. And there, stepping to the side, that lateral movement. And he's quick with that hook as well. Yeah, he's fast. Until now, he has a good condition for a heavyweight. Because sometimes they are uh, totally exhausted after the first round. Yeah. No, a nice fighter to watch. And what's interesting, I'm sure Florin Ivanovi is... Uh, has got m a lot more to show us, but he's not being allowed. You're only as good as your opponent allows you to be. And, well, he's opening up here, but I'm sure he feels that if he commits to something, he's gonna get countered with a heavy bomb. Yeah. It's always dangerous with heavy heavyweights. So 30 seconds left here of the second round. But the Romanian fighter still fights back. Well. Last 10 seconds now of the second round. And he's, he's still dangerous, the Romanian. Yeah, he, oh. It's still a fight. Yeah, especially yeah. in the heavyweights. And um, that's got to be a 10 9 again to Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ahmed Karnic. We've got a round to go. And the Romanian corner are telling Florin Ivanui, let's go. And he's got to do something drastic. He's got to get a knockout in this round or knock downs if he wants to win the fight. Second time. The third and last round. Third and final round. <clears throat> So let's see what the Romanian's going to do here. You'd like to see him come out with all guns blazing. Which is easy to say out here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not getting punched by 124 kilos. It's great. Kernic is finishing everything with a low kick. Look, nice combinations, up down. You just, you just feel when you're watching someone like this. Kernic is obviously pacing himself. You know, at this weight, you can't just keep throwing everything and, and punch yourself out. But you think he could commit a bit more. Yeah. And dominate.
dominate the Romanian more. Nice uppercut there from uh, Florin Ivanui. Kurnic still on his toes. Lovely straight left there. Nice knee. So halfway through this third and final round. Oh, right. short, sharp right overhand hook there. Uh, Romania also still comes. Well, like you say, heavy. They're always well. Anyone's dangerous. Yeah. Well. Everyone's got a chin. But, but they are still fighting, and it's the third round. And actually, oh, no, the pace no. for heavyweights has been pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The condition is better than uh, from a lot of the middleweights. Yeah. So we're coming up, ladies and gentlemen, to the last 30 seconds of our final fight of Century 20. And really, with these heavyweights, you're just, the anticipation is there. You're just waiting for something to happen. Twenty seconds to go. Yeah, Kernich corner telling him. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Ten seconds. They've heard the clack up. They're going to slug it out right to the bell. That's it. A good fight to watch. That was a great, yeah, yeah. that was a great, a very busy, athletic, super heavyweight fight here at Senshi. The matchmaking has got better and better as, as the events yeah. have gone on. And it's always, you know, there's skill in matchmaking, but also a fair amount of luck. Because you never yeah, know yeah. how the fight's You never know how it all went, no. Akira Masuda. Shihan Akira Masuda for the special awards. Here he comes, the last samurai. So as we await for the presentation, for the winner of this final oh. fight. I'd like to thank everyone who's tuned in and watched around the world, everyone who came to watch us in, here, in this packed arena. I want to thank all the legends who've commentated and refereed here. It's always an honor to work with, with guys, Ernesto, who's Danny again, Sauer, yourself, you Albert. About to leave. Uh, do not forget that Senshi 21 is scheduled for April the 20th of 2024. So mark your calendar, and don't forget to come back and visit. You may also watch us live on the internet. We have the official scorecard from the three judges. Judge number one scores it 30 to 27 in favor of the blue corner. Judge number two scores it 30 to 27 in favor of the blue corner. And the last judge, 30 29 in the blue corner. Unanimous decision for us. Yep. Unanimous decision there as we as we said, as we thought, and as we saw. Ahmed Kurnic goes home with his seventh win from Senshi. And I'm sure he'll be back. But the Romanian there shouldn't go home too disappointed. A great performance no, against... Oh, he did a really good fight. He against did a, good a job. huge yeah, yeah. opponent. Yeah. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Senshi 20. We're going from strength to strength. Let's thank our sponsors, BMW, Bulgarian Air, Aqua House Hotel here in Varna, Bulgaria. And if you do get a chance to come here, it's the whole experience of Senshi is fantastic. The, the beautiful scenery, the seaside here in Varna, the hotels, everything about Senshi is world class. Yeah. The super heavyweights, current champion of Senshi.